Okay, what we're going to talk about now is doing some tail feathers. This is on a 7GCBC Cetabria. Uh, we demonstrated a blanket method wrapping trailing edge, or from the leading edge, around the trailing edge back to leading edge on ailerons and flaps. What we're going to do now is a two-piece blanket method. We do actually a half the surface at a time. I've got a, uh, the right hand tail feathers here. This is a stabilizer. In here we've got the elevator. And what we're going to do is cover the elevator because it has some curved areas so we can demonstrate how to do this around a curved surface. As you can see, this is, uh, has not been prepped yet for cover. We've got the, the exposed wells, we've got the fairly sharp edge here on the, uh, uh, the control surface for the wings that we did. We didn't tape these. We're showing two separate methods here. And that's kind of an option. On this elevator here, which is a right elevator, I've gone ahead and prepped it. Went ahead and put tape to protect the fabric on these sharper edges on these uh, fairly long rib runs here on this elevator surface. I've also put a little bit of tape around where the welds are exposed that will cause a disturbance or bump underneath the uh, covering. So what we're going to do now, we've gone ahead and pre-cut a fabric panel. I've actually cut two of these panels and the surface will, this will glue to the surface. Now what we want to do on this, I always like to cover the bottom side prior to the top side. So all the overlap seams in lay on the bottom. These come out really nice but why not put the stuff on the bottom that's going to tend to show, give you a little nicer finish. So what we want to do in preparation to glue the fabric on here is we're going to pre-glue this surface everywhere we want this panel of fabric to actually glue to the structure. So we'll go ahead and do that. One thing to keep in mind though, when you cut these fabric panels, make sure that the grain of the fabric is in the span-wise and in the cord-wise direction. In other words, if this tabletop here was a roll of fabric, lay the piece on in the direction of the grain. Either direction like this is fine, but you want to parallel the grain direction. You don't want to lay this surface on at a 45 degree angle to try to get better usage out of your fabric. What you're doing is gluing it on in a bias direction and it's going to affect the, especially the amount of sag between ribs on a on an airfoil shape. Always line the fabric up so the grain of the fabric parallels the span and the cord. Okay, what we'll do now is, again, this is the right side, so this is the top of the surface. What we're going to do is pre-glue the upper edges of this entire surface. We're not going to wrap the glue all the way around here. If we do, then there's a tendency of the fabric to stick past the radius of this tube and that forms divots and in low spots along the trailing edge and around the radius of the frame. So we can eliminate that very simply by just pre-applying pre our glue. This again is our one part glue. Everywhere I want the fabric to attach, we're going to brush a coat of glue. I'll go ahead and brush some here on our, on our padding tape. This soaks right down through that, gives a real tight seal on that fabric, gives a good bond. Around the radius here, we're going to only come about halfway around the front. We're not going to wrap under the bottom. We're going to wrap to the inside here somewhat so we can get a real nice firm glue joint on that first layer of fabric. This just takes a few minutes. If you're doing Normally when I'm doing tail feathers like this, I go ahead and prep the two stabilizers and the two elevators and the rudder and I get them all laid out and I'll go ahead and pre-glue like this and then it's just as, almost like an assembly line process. It goes very fast. Okay, we've got our glue dry and I've got it out of my coveralls. And uh, what we're going to do now, again, we're going to cover the bottom surface first. This is the right elevator on the Cetabria. You can see I've got the fabric panels pre-cut. We've got our piece laying on it. So what we're going to do now is demonstrate how to glue this first panel in place. 
first thing we're going to do is take our scissors and go ahead and notch around where the hinges are here. Once that's done, we just pull the fabric up. We're just going to rub it into that pre-dried glue just a little bit. We've got a gap seal on this particular surface here, a piece of welded steel tube. We're going to cut around that piece of fabric over. Now, what we'll do is we'll come to the other end here. And again, we're going to cut for the hinge. Get that out of the way. And also right here around the gap seal. Pull that piece of fabric up. You can see just light finger pressure there. Rubs that in pretty well. Right here we'll just cut this at about a 45. Pull it up. Tack it into place here. Now, we'll come along the rest of the trailing edge. Just pull the fabric right up over the surface here. Just keep it nice and straight. Keep the wrinkles out as you bring it up. Just lightly rub it into that pre-dried glue. Next thing we do is we come up here to the tip side on the overhang on the counterbalance. Pull the fabric up into here. Lightly rub it into place. That's where we let the iron do some work for us. We want to fairly aggressively stick this. So what I'm going to do is put a little ironing pressure right along the edge of it here. So you can see the change of coloration there. We've got is a fairly tight bond on this fabric now to the structure. Now I'll go ahead and I'm going to take the scissors and just trim this back a little bit. And again, because this glue is somewhat tacky, we just kind of pre-glue that little area in. We'll pull the fabric up. This fabric pulls right up around there fairly nicely. Now, let's pull this kind of off the edge of the table here. As that's a radius, what we're going to do is let the iron do some work for us here. We're going to let the iron kind of pre shrink that just a little bit. What we're going to do is get a nice lay into there without a bunch of wrinkles. And again, we can do that with the heat of the iron. What's nice about this is we iron it, we're also lightly tacking it into place. You don't have to try to hold it in place while we're working with wet glue. And again, we don't have to use spring clamps because the glue itself is clamping this in place for us. Now we're going to go ahead and pick this panel up, turn it around here. And again, what we're going to do now is just pull a little tension on the trailing edge. Pull it into place. And again, we're going to rub it into the dried glue. You can see how we can pull that. We've got a nice lay of fabric there. But we don't lose that. I'm going to just take the iron because that's where I want it. Make one pass right along this outward radius. You can see how that little line formed. That's got it clamped tightly into place. Here we're going to do the same thing right on around the corner. Very similar to what we did up there already. This, the way the fabric lays, it acts almost like a piece of bias tape right through here. and it pulls around there fairly easily. But again, if you need to, put a little heat on it and that will really help accelerate the lay of the fabric around this curved edge here. 